boys and girls, welcome to the Set 8 Podcast. Mate, it's our first podcast, bro. No, I'm going to be straight up, right? You usually watch a podcast for intellect, knowledge. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to better yourself, you're in traffic and you're just watching that podcast and you leave you feeling motivated. Yeah. All I did for like, all I do in my life, I go to London once a week, do a little prank, come home. And if you're expecting any sort of knowledge, intellect, nah. you're on the wrong pod, mate. None. So before you start dropping, oh, not everyone needs a podcast. I agree, but it's quick money. If you've got the audience there, it's a bit of cash. And I don't mind speaking for an hour and giving you my true intellect. If you want to see how my brain works, then be prepared. And I'm warning you, be prepared, because sometimes the truth does come out. And you might get a little bit sad. And that's okay. You just scroll up. Not deep, mate. So before, if anyone if anyone tries to cancel, no, I'm doing this before. Mate, you're not no. selling our podcast, bro. If we anyone have just started right now, and you're basically going that it's gonna be shit. No, I'm not saying it's gonna be shit. Okay. I did not oh, sorry, say that. my bad, bro. So I'm just saying. By all means. I am warning you. That you see another podcast. This isn't like other podcasts. If this is autism, this podcast is gonna be the best thing on the fucking internet, boys. All right, fuck all those little shitty LGBT shit podcasts on the on the fucking. Should I said that? This is not gonna be well, guys. This ain't gonna end well. No, is I'm it? not acting on this. Bro. No, like, we're not. We're gonna be our proper selves, and this podcast is basically gonna be an insight into our retarded, spastic, idiotic lives. Off topic. I really wish they would normalise itching your ass because it's so annoying. Bro, just itch your ass. Go and do it. No, one no I'm not no, doing no it. One gives a fuck. No, you know you can just like move you on your chair. Like, Plum Perry, the platypus. <laughs> No, because they're gonna notice we're just not all there. <laughs> no, we're not all there, bro. This is the reason why it's called the Set Eight Podcast, boys and girls. Uh, <laughs> I think it's pretty much in the name. <laughs> Yo, look, <laughs> there's a mic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a reason why uh, it's called the Set Eight Podcast, boys and girls. Uh, it called the it's called the Set Eight Podcast because uh, yeah, do you know that meme where in them they go oh, Set Eight? <laughs> 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 You know, it's a pretty sick... Anyway, drop out say the say podcast, right? But yeah, no, this podcast is going to feature some some guests from time to time. What are not, you doing? Not everyone needs a podcast, lads. Not yeah, everyone that. needs a podcast, lads. Not everyone needs a mother, lads. Not everyone needs a life. Go kill yourself. You Die, bro! Way. You comment that in the fucking comment section. Actually, get a rope and tie yourself up. Genuinely, imagine if the whole world had a podcast. Like, the whole world was just... The whole world, we lived on a planet of podcasts. All people did what was What does podcasts. that even mean? The like, planet everyone of on the street, how's your podcast? Not bad, mate. How's yours? Everyone just speaks into podcasts and makes money, bro. Everyone does it. Well, um, as you got, you got, you got, mm, deep you the mic, bro. Be, yeah, right, right. Be, but anyway, nothing's off limits on this podcast, as you can already tell. Um, we are not going to, well, we're going to always tell the truth and what we think. We're not going to always. 95% of the time. No, no, 100%. If we do say something that you don't agree with and you think that's a bit weird from them, just know that we've signed a deal of some sort for a bit of money. I don't actually agree with it. But for the time being, like, I'm going to just say how it is. So, uh, we've moved out. That's the first thing I want to mention. Uh, and we've wanted to do this podcast for a very long time. We wanted to do this for about a year now, innit? I've never regretted doing something more in my life than moving out. I like to be with my friends, but the rest of it is so What bad. do you not like about moving out, bro? We've got a Laundry nice drop don't out work. house. Laundry don't open, so you oh, can't wash your mate, clothes. Do, we've lived there for... Okay, the landlord knows about our YouTube channel, so if they if they fucking watch this, then you're, you need to get a fucking life. You're Stupid. 50 years old and like you're watching you. Set 8 Podcast. What the fuck are you doing? Like, get a life. <laughs> Literally. Literally, bro. Can that's you what, imagine that like, you've just had said your it. kids... You've bought they don't have houses. kids. They don't you have kids. They have cats, which says they're very sad. Leave anyway, it. leave it then. You yeah. know what? There's no point in me even speaking. Turn my mic off. Unplug the cable. Unplug Why am I here? Unplugged your mum's cable and shagged her up the ass until she creamed. And you're watching this for knowledge. <laughs> Anyway, no, what was I going to say? We've lived there for two months now, um, and the house is falling apart, as I might say. Um, the washing machine doesn't work. Uh, it won't open. Dish Please washer. tell me. Oh, no, it's the washing machine. Mate. Dishwasher broke too. Okay, but let, I'm talking about the fucking washing machine first, mate. But the dishwasher's broken too. D- shut the fuck up. I'm adding an effect to the po- I don't want them to be like, we're crying over a broken washing machine. No, we are crying about a broken, a broken and washing And a broken machine. dishwasher. We're crying about a broken kitchen. Not to mention the chip on the floor and the hole in the wall, landlord. Oh, shut <laughs> Yeah, anyway, the washing machine refuses to open. Please tell me why. That's your one function. Open. I want my clothes inside. There's a bunch of clothes inside that we can't even get. We can't get it. Why? Tell me why. Tell me why. Ain't nothing, nothing but, but a heartache. heartache. We can't sing on a podcast. That sounds like weird. No, that is very gay. Trust me, Trust me man. Anyway, no, we like the gays. We support them. I um, love it. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, uh, what was I going to say? <laughs> Good work. Yeah, you know what I mean? We've got to make sure that we like the gays. <laughs> yeah, can't, can't, can't get cancelled already. Spotify here. You know, we want to deal. 
definitely not happening. Um, anyway, what was I going to say? Washing machine's fucked. Dishwasher's fucked as well. Uh, I mean, it still works, but it leaks. Um, there's a hole in the wall because my girlfriend, uh, we got drunk one night and... I really, want a fat, I really want a fat belly right now to just hold the mic and just... Oh, yo, bro, you remember True Geordie used to do a podcast? <laughs> <laughs> Why are you saying that? <laughs> the only podcasts I've ever watched, like, is True Geordie. I watched his like like five years ago. I watched the one you went on with the guy with the uh, Gilly. Oh yeah, yeah, I did a podcast once. Yeah, I did. I, I did, was I watching. Did. I was like, what the hell's wrong with him? Me? Well, you were being so gay friendly. Yeah, no, I was trying to go for something and I fucking hated it. I can't lie, but this one's gonna be well, fucking different. Well, you comfortable here, mate? Don't touch my fucking hand, you bender. <laughs> anyway, no, what I was going to say, yeah, hole in the wall because we got drunk and my girlfriend slipped on water. We had a water fight and then made a hole in the wall. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. There's a chip on the tiles because uh, Nathan, shout out Nathan behind the camera there, was just very drunk and decided to just throw bottles of glass on the floor. Uh, I think he smashed about how many? Six glasses? Six bottles? Six bottles. And uh, East, East was there just watching him. Not even doing anything. Just Absolute biggest NPC. East is here as well. Shout out to East behind uh, that camera. Stop burping, please. That was too insane. Please stop burping. Sorry, Dad. Please stop burping. Um, but yeah, no, uh, the house is fucked. Uh, but it's fun, man. It's fun. It's fun living there, bro. We love it, man. I mean, I, I kind of hate it at the same time because you are a genuine retard. Like you are. You have these things called, that I like to say, autistic spells. Do you care to explain what that means, please, for the viewers? Do you care to butt out my business and let me be free? Let me be happy? Shut the fuck. I was so gay. Childhood man. is about memories. And if we're not making autistic <laughs> outbursts, we're not making memories. If we're not making memories, then what is the point? Why have we moved out? Why don't we just stay home and sweep? Like Hetty S- Feather. <laughs> what the fuck? No, but your autistic spells are genuinely worrying, mate. It's Madeline. Lo- it's Madeline. It's Madeline. It's Madeline. Do you remember Madeline? Madeline McCann? No, Madeline, the French TV show. No. I remember was, Charlie and Lola. You remember Madeline? Yo, you were a real one for that, bro. What were we on about? <laughs> <laughs> you see what I mean? It's just generally a spastic. It's okay though. This is this is this is for the people that have autism. You they, know what? This you know is what? this is here. It's right here. You He's know what? Here. You know today? Yeah. We was on the train after filming, no cameras. We're sat on the train and oh, I, I'm showing Nathan Danger, you know Danger Mouse boys, yeah? So I'm showing Danger Mouse, the TV show. The fuck's so we're Danger all watching Mouse? it and there's this fat, bold guy sat across from Joe. Joe sat with him, it's like a four seater, yeah? yeah Me yeah. and Nathan this side, Joe and a random fat guy. Excuse me, mate, do you want to watch Danger Mouse with us? <sighs> Danger Mouse! Danger Mouse! He's like a yeah. fat, 50 year old big bloke, right? And we've got me, Ramps, and Nathan in the train going, Crumpet Pillow! <laughs> Like just saying the most random shit is what we do. We are autistic. Yeah. I will claim that myself as well. But twenty minutes straight, very loud pure, as well. Just saying, oh, I wish I was the cream inside a bourbon. <laughs> just stupid shit. I wish and I was we... between biscuits. <laughs> and who asked? Who, who spoke? Was it you? No, I said. I said. Um. Oh, what the fuck did I say? You said something like, uh, uh, "Jammy Dodger Turtle." No, 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 no. <laughs> and then Nathan, uh, he goes. Yo, what's excuse me, mate. What's we're all. Name? What's your name? Because we're all in the carriage together. I feel like you're part of the team or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you want me to fucking what did he say? No, he said, I'd rather not talk to you, cunts. Yeah, I'd rather not talk to you, cunts. And we're like, whoa, why the haste, bro? You decided to sit next to us. And there was a guy next to him as well who went, Yeah, you say that, mate. I'm like, you're a fucking. Yeah, nerd, and I was like, man. bro, shut up, I will touch your wife. Yeah, I don't think he has a wife. He's definitely a divorcee that has a normal nine to five job and genuinely thinks about suicide on maybe six to seven nights a day. Okay, well soon, mate. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, back to bold guy. <laughs> Bold guy's getting on to us, mate. Mate, yeah. don't think I won't fucking do you in. Yeah. I'm obviously, I'm giving it the usual. I'm autistic. <laughs> you, you, you little cunt. I'm autistic. You're an autistic cunt is what you are. Even I was a bit like... <laughs> Bro, it's mad though. And like, genuinely, you guys like say, why are you making fun of autistic people? He genuinely has autism. Can you just say that you do? Yeah, I've got autism. He genuinely does. And he's happy with the jokes that we make about him. That's good. People now think you have autism. I actually do. I know you do, bro. How did you get found? How do you find out about your autism? I've had it for years. You've had it for years. What was the first thing that made you realise you have autism? When I got excited, I used to start flapping. (laughs) 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 Nah, nah. Used to start flapping. We were at the candy. Blood is flappy, bird. Nah, at the candy floss. I remember years ago we was at the candy floss. Oh, you saw candy floss and started flapping. Yeah, yeah. What does that mean then? Got a bit of demonstration. I started flapping, bro. What does that? And then that's mean? when everyone was like, yeah. "Did you did you levitate while flapping?" No, I just flapped. You just flapped. And what did you do after you flapped? You went, mm, "Maybe I'm a retard." No, I had my cat. Nah. <laughs> oh, you had... thought that was normal? No, I had that's my even candy. worse, mate. I'm having my candy flaps. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> 
You're generally not all there, are you? <laughs> He's crying, crying. Oh, I'm so happy to be on a podcast. Nah, it feels good though. It feels good, man. We're, we're here. Yeah. I feel like I'm on Make a Wish <laughs> and you're Joe Rogan. <laughs> It's all right. What's your one <laughs> wish that you want to say on this podcast? What do you want to say to everyone? <laughs> Drink two liters of water a day. <laughs> Drink two liters of water. <laughs> what? That, why are you laughing at you? That's not. Bro, bro, water, tap water makes you gay. No. Right. Nah. I'm gonna. Bro, we might as well do conspiracies, isn't no, it? No, bro. So, there's a conspiracy, but it's not a conspiracy because it's just real. And it if you don't believe it, then you just tap the tap head and you think does every, not make you it. believe the news. That like you just believe it. If they say, if the news says oh someone's died, you're just like oh someone's died. And you just believe it. You're an idiot. Why are you watching the news in the first place? Get a life. Get a job. Spend time with family. But that's not the point. Go on, say your point. Tap, tap water, water makes, makes you gay. gay because if you pour tap water in, it smells weird. It smells. It's got fluoride, which has got estrogen. Yeah, estrogen just makes you gay. It or, doesn't or make it you gay, bro. Estrogen. Yes, it you're does. saying every girl is gay. They have estrogen, bro. Huh? They have e- girls have estrogen. No, estrogen we makes you like girls. No, estrogen makes you like boys. Girls like boys. Boys, mo- boys like boys. Oh, okay, because they have tap water. Okay, so you're saying right that all the gays in the world have estrogen and no testosterone. This is bad, but you think tap water makes you gay? That's wrong. All right, my dad had prostate cancer. Right? <laughs> Sorry, mate. Why, is, why, why are you all laughing? This is a genuine thing, right? Why are no, you laughing? Nah, no, that's peak, man. I don't actually. No, I'm not laughing that, at the bro. cancer. Like he died. I'm not laughing at the cancer. He died. He didn't. I was singing karaoke with him two days ago, mate. He didn't die. Oh shit! Yeah, I'm did. not laughing at the prostate cancer. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm laughing because you just you said it like it's an excuse. Right? No, 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 no you're wrong. No, we're gonna try my dad again. had prostate cancer. No, no, we're gonna try this again in it, and you're gonna like respect what I just said. All right? Mm. My dad had prostate cancer. Right? <laughs> 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 why is everyone Wait, laughing? When did he have prostate cancer? Like last? Year, why is everyone laughing? This is actually not Where, funny. Whenabouts? When, when about? Whereabouts on the prostate? Is that like your ass? I don't know. It's the balls, isn't it? It's your bum hole, isn't it? I don't know, bro. It's the it's the thing in between. Prostate. It's around the balls and the bum area, right? Yeah, it's your bum hole. Because no, because when you think you have prostate cancer, you feel your balls. See, there's a lump there. But then when you test it, they go up your ass. The irony that my finger was broken at the same time he had prostate cancer in his arsehole. So what you've just said here in front of everyone that you gave my dad prostate cancer <laughs> by fingering his asshole? Can we just? Who said that? <laughs> you. I'm just saying. I'm just. I'm just pointing out common things. Bro, Rome wasn't built in a day. Another fact for you. <laughs> well, thanks, bro. Anyway, we're gonna start again, and no one's gonna laugh. Okay. <laughs> no, please, I can't. I right, can't. my dad had prostate cancer. Okay. Everyone's laughing. We're not going to do this bit. We're not going to do this bit, man. My dad had prostate cancer, <laughs> and he had yeah, to yeah. have estrogen, right? So he's not gay. He's not gay. He had to have estrogen to lower no. the levels of testosterone. It doesn't make you be- gay. You just said this whole fucking conversation about this. A series of estrogen makes you gay. If you're sipping it every day for 10 years, after 10 years, you're going to be gay. You're not just going to be like, oh, hey, baby cakes. I need dick. That's not what happens. It's not an instant effect. It needs to go into your digestion. It needs to go into your bloodstream, spread around, get the gay through the toes. Get the gay through the toes, yeah. yeah. Interlink between the toenails, Let's yeah. Got some gays, gays in there. It. Let's not talk about gays. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. Whack it like a whack a muppet. Maca packa. Maca packa. Ooh, what time, are we- what time is it? Why? Yeah, I knew it. I could. G- I get this little tingly sensation at around 8.30s <laughs> when I was usually tucking in and watching in the night garden and maca packa and upsy daisy. I hate Upsy Daisy, you know, bro. Upsy Daisy was a slag, bro. She was a J bag. She was a slag. She would take it from anyone, bro. She was always lifting a skirt up in front of Mac Trust and Trust me. Oh, look at me. I'm, 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 I'm. Ho. Oh, who gives a fuck? And she, I swear she always would look at those loving little people as well. Yeah. She's a nonce and a slag, and I bet she has thrush. She'd be beheaded in Saudi Arabia, Upsy Daisy. Upsy Daisy. I hope you're watching, love. <laughs> Can we be just... scared. I bet she does OF now. <laughs> she... Yo, Upsy Daisy's probably on OF. <laughs> Selling a pum like every other talentless girl who's got nothing else going for themselves. Upsy and has Daisy. no family to lose. She has no family. She lives alone, the little slag. All she does all day is get on the train, link boys, because there's just boys everywhere. She's with the boys, lifts her skirt up a bit. Shagging on fields as well. Shags on fields. Shags on fields. And as soon as Eagle Piggle's rocked off on his boat gone home, <laughs> she's not out of nowhere to be seen because she wants Eagle Piggle. She <laughs> sat down by Upsy Daisy. He's a home. How do you know so much about in the night garden, bro? Well, I told you, 8.30 p.m. I'm there. 8.30 p.m.? <laughs> Shit, man. I used to be on my little uh, blue scooter in the living room. In the living room? Mama, yeah, mama I had a little blue scooter leaving. and I used to sit on it and watch in the night garden. I used to watch uh, the big the big uh, bear in the, in the big house. Don't forget your squiggle pads and squiggle sticks. It's squigglet. Squiggler? You remember squiggler? No. That 
Hairy prick. Oh, he needs to die. He's a twat. He, I remember oh, I was probably just having to go at all the fucking anime. I know, no, I'm not gonna, I'm not going to go in on Squiggler like that. I don't want to offend anyone. No, you don't want to offend anyone. Are you sure? No. no? Anyway, let's move on from that. Um, today, something happened, which I want to discuss. What? what uh, happened? Jeffrey Epstein's uh, list came out. Do you know what that means? Do you know what that means? List of what? List of people that went to his island, right? They got outed today. Oh, a list of pedos. Essentially, yes, because if you don't know, Jeffrey Epstein's island was literally just where they used to sex traffic women, which yeah. which is kind of sick because, like... No, nah, on a real note. Nah, can, I I, can we I just say... Don't no, rate, can I, I, can I don't I, rate uh, sacrificing kids and all that. I don't rate it. Oh, you, but you, you rate sacrificing women? No, I don't respect it. The fact that we live in a world where the people at the top are all touching kids in order to be at the top in Bro, a temporary world. It's fucked, in it? Yeah. Which makes me think, is touching kids okay? Like, do you know what I mean? Oh, even there, fucking look. Oh, shit. Even there, I mean, shit, was I not meant to say that? No, the but there's a lot of people touching kids, bro. I got the list right here, right? These are some of the names that got released today. To and you'll one. be mad by this, right? Why is Michael my name Jackson, on? your name's not on there unless you did go to Jeffrey Epstein's island, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God for that. <laughs> they I didn't knew catch I should have signed that for. Anyway, Michael Jackson was uh, outed. He went to Epstein's island. Okay, well, we all obviously. saw it. We knew he was a nonce. It was a nonce, you yeah. know, the Leave a Neverland series. Uh, Donald Trump. He's a pedo bastard as well, the little guy. They're always like, oh. Trump, make America great again. I was just, I was at home like, yeah, you definitely touch kids, you little pedo. Oh, really? Next. Okay, uh, Bill Clinton. Who? Bill Clinton. Who? Bill Clinton. Who's Bill Clinton? Okay. The Prime Minister. No, I don't even know. I think That's he, Bill Gates, I think he, uh, Bill Clinton owns... <laughs> Why are you not laughing? Why are you laughing? What are you doing? Bill, Bill, Bill someone, isn't is it? Is it Bill Clinton? Eddie Hearn. Is that right? Am I wrong there? The, he was the president. Yeah, I thought yeah, he owned, that's I thought he owned not- Amazon. Leonardo DiCaprio. Who cares? Right, which it, which pretty much makes sense because all his girlfriends are literally under the age of eighteen. So are mine. So are yours. Yeah, but well, you're twenty. Even... No, it's a fact. Leonardo right, DiCaprio fair. likes younger women, which fair play to him. Just make sure they're of age. Just make sure they're of age. There's no harm in that. No, I think it's a bit weird. I think the bro, you really think? You know when someone says, "Oh, it's illegal to date someone under the age of 18. and you're like waiting for it to be eighteen, right? That is fucked. No, that's that weird. Is that means a law is the only thing stopping you from being a nonce. And you're no, dirty. no, but the thing is that that's different because 16 to legal age. So they wait so that she's 15 and you're waiting for. No, nah, in 16. my head it's 18. 16 is like though, she's the, a weirdo. The legal age what? is 16. It's oh, a, I don't a, care about legal. Legals are made. It's a human. What's it called? A human construct. 18 should be the age. Oh yeah, guys, if you want to oh, shoot 16. loads of little kids in the schools, that's a that's a human construct. That's got nothing to do with shagging a 16-year-old. Yeah, no, I don't know what that was. <laughs> okay, this one's going to be a mad one. Stephen Hawking. <laughs> Who we... did he touch? <laughs> Bro, how did I he like touch? I like your boobs. <laughs> Imagine getting raped by Stephen Hawking. Do that a lot. <laughs> 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 if you can't escape that, yeah, you're escaping no one, bro. And I mean no one. Oh my god. People do anything for little court cases. That's an E-rape, bro. <laughs> They were e dating. <laughs> That's like Tinder. Bro. Oh no 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 no! What bro. did he do? I don't, bro, I don't know how. What did he do? What did he do? How did he? How did he touch these girls? He can't move in it. He can. Yeah, with his bloody little car. He can't, <laughs> can't get around my feet, can he? Nah. So maybe like he took her for a ride. It's a, no, like, like genuinely. Right, it's I'm going to keep like, this moving before we get. But okay. You know what's mad to me? What? That Steve, I only found this out recently. Stephen Hawking was from the UK, Cambridge. Yeah. Why do you not know that? So he used to just rock around the same place I used to rock around. Yeah, bro. Where we met John is where Stephen Hawking used to be. No way. Yeah, bro. That's a lie. No, that is. How did he get around, bro? Uh, with his wheelchair. There's stairs everywhere. <laughs> Disability ramps. Ramps. <laughs> That's uh, my name. I know, bro. Cameron Diaz. Who? Princess Fiona. That's a made-up character. No, she voiced Princess Fiona. <laughs> nah, this Fuck. is bullshit. Princess Fiona <laughs> in Epstein's <laughs> Island. So it's just a bunch of guys. <laughs> and this little green ogre goes there as well. <laughs> okay. Yeah, cool. Bruce Willis. Don't care. Rest in peace, man. No, nah, don't rest in piss, you little prick. Touch his kids. No, 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 bro. Anyone in this caliber of tax and making that money touches kids. Okay, the next one's Prince Andrew. Yeah, he touches kids. Yeah, yeah, no, he touches kids. He was at Epstein's Island. I just said that, you fucking So not twat. rest in peace to him. 
No, he's not dead, is he? Do you want to know what, um, no, what was said? Like... Do you want to know what was said on that? What did he say? Rest in peace. Nah, I forgot which one's which. Do you want to know what he said, right? That's a little weirdo who wants to marry that Canadian so, girl. So, Prince Andrew uh, did shit with this girl called Jane Doe. Uh, she was forced to have sexual relations with this with this prince when she was a minor in three separate geographical locations. <laughs> Let me see Jane Doe. <laughs> She testified, we went into a closet and pulled out the puppet, the character of Prince Andrew, and brought it down. And there was a little tag on the puppet that said Prince Andrew on it, and that's when I knew who he was. She How continued, she... they put the puppet on Virginia's lap, and I sat on Andrew's lap. And they put the puppet's hand on Virginia's breast, and Andrew put his hand on my breast, and they took a photo. Epstein forced Jane Doe to have sexual relations with, was a member of the British royal family, Prince Andrew, yeah, Duke of York. So that's what happened, man. I was literally that's that she testified that. So why are we out here celebrating the? We're not. No one's celebrating. No, cele- no, no one's you know the Queen's jubilee, this, bro. The Queen's jubilee and all this shit, where they put all these little flowers and flags up everywhere, and it's like you're celebrating touching kids. Yeah, it's pretty fucked. I can't lie, but that's what happens, man. Yeah, so that happened. Um, and you know, speaking about rape and stuff, you know, there was a a, a, a kid that got raped on the metaverse. Do you know how fucked and like how stupid you have to be to get met? But turn your t- just turn your TV off. Girls she again. let she let that happen. She was sitting there going, "Oh shit, I'm getting raped now. What do I do?" And she stayed on it. And she stayed on it and said that she got psychological problems from it. And the police are looking into it, saying that she may not have got the police are involved. Yeah, the, the police are saying she might not have got uh, physical like harm from it, but she got emotional and psychological harm from it. But she literally voluntarily. Oh, girls do anything for a payday. Got what? No, 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 it was a, it was a one kid. of you got raped by fucking Stephen Hawking and in, in the metaverse. Anything for a little lawsuit. Lazy. Go to work like the men, bro. If you really want this equality and all that, then live up to your standard. I don't want to be. Oh, I'm in a court case. I've been raped. fair enough. Who am I? Some guy who can't walk or talk. Well, natural selection that is. <laughs> <laughs> fucking idiot. No, I can't this lie. This metaverse is it's stupid. No, and it's the fact stupid. that the police are tolerating it. I know. No, it's fucked. Bro, it's fucked. Metaverse will ruin everything. Why? When is when is some new technical thing come into society and improved it? Never. No. No, you're right there actually. That's a good point. But I'm just curious on why she literally sat there and watched herself. How did that happen, man? A gang oh, you can ask, bro, gang? it's fine. It was a gang. A gang of people on the on it was the a metaverse. Land party. <laughs> <laughs> the whole Discord server was on that. Yeah, bro, the whole gang turned up and thought, you look nice. <laughs> oh no! This is not something to laugh about. This generally oh, happened, shit. and I I feel for the kid. I don't. F- I feel for the kid. Salmon toasty. Salmon toasty on my rug. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I really want to be seasoning a raw chicken right now and just slapping that soggy meat across the board, and chopping. It <laughs> See, see, this is the autistic spells I'm on about. What you want about, bro? You just do all, you do, all, you do all this shit, right? And you fucking... What was that thing you said the other day, bro? Oh, a national reset. A national reset. Talk talk, talk through what this means, all right? You guys are not going to believe what this fucking guy told us. He, me and East, all right? We're just w- listen to this guy go on about a national reset at two in the morning. You sure? Mate, do it because you're one of them. All right, well, Nelson Mandela. What? Adolf Hitler. What? Okay. Ramps. <laughs> this. What do they all have in common? This is my new political party. Oh, what is it, bro? That. This yeah. is the U turn. Turn things around. Take things back. <laughs> Boys and girls, welcome to the national reset. <laughs> so, what I'm going to do, I'm going to gain power in the UK. I'm How gonna are you going to gain power? I'm going to invite Rishi Sunak into a cancer ward for children. <laughs> One of the children with cancer allegedly will actually be working for me. Hello, Mr. Sunak. Hello, bro. How are you? I'm going to gonna put bleach in a brownie. Please take my brownie. It took me ages to bake. Oh, wow, that's lovely brown. Sunak's dead. I'm in power. Uh, all yeah, the okay, immigrants okay, cool. Back. That makes sense. Yeah, you kill Rishi Sunak by using a cancer child. Yeah, and then every immigrant goes back. No, 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 no. no. So then how do you get in power? How do you get in power? He's gone now, I'll boot in. Yeah, but how are you getting in power from Constant just killing... knives, bro. You don't need a planned out assassination. Oh, we're going to get a red dot on his head. You know how they always get caught? All it takes is a little handshake. Oh, a little, little dodge that. Straight knife in the leg. He's dead. Job done. I'm in power. Boom. We're now in Buckingham Palace. Fast forward a month. Yeah, but how are you... <clears throat> okay, yes, you've killed Richard Sunak. This is what I'm trying hard to understand. I really respect what you're saying here and doing. I'm not, I'm not disagreeing with you. Right. But how... You've killed Rishi Sunak. He's on the floor. Uh, dead. Right? How are you gonna become in power from that 
I just will win it. And no, when I've no, done that... Well, yeah, yeah, you just will. Okay, when yeah. I've done that, yeah. we're going to start that strictly. Everyone goes back to their country of origin, including me, so don't start crying, you weirdo. Everyone goes back. Everyone. Everyone goes back. So, you know, the Africans go to Africa. The Indians go to India. The Chinese go to China. All of you go back. If you're half, if you don't look white British or act it, you go back. Everyone goes back. What's an embarrassing story that, you <laughs> <laughs> that you'd like to share with everyone today? What a swift transition. Embarrassing story, bro. Yeah. We're doing embarrassing stories now. Yeah. <laughs> Why are we both? You don't have to. Uh, embarrassing story. Well, well, uh, what, what do you mean? Oh, what's something you'd think? That's like, oh, I wouldn't tell that to anyone. Well, I don't know. Like, I shat myself in school. Oh, so I'd tell that to everyone. I did what do you mean you tell that to everyone? Hey, mate. Nice to meet you. Yeah, raps. You know I shat myself in school. I don't care. Oh, is that in your Tinder profile, is it? I don't use Tinder. <laughs> oh, so my body is, bro. I'm not looking for love. <laughs> I'm kind of mad how this table's not falling over despite the heavy weight it's holding of the short recipes. Anyway, I shot myself in school, right? Okay, I'll tell you the story now, right? Basically, uh, there was a, it was lunchtime and there was these, I really need a poo. No, I need, I need, a, I need a piss. I need a piss. I need a piss, right? Mm. And uh, there was these toilets closer to me which you weren't allowed to use because we had designated <laughs> toilets. Well, I'm just doing that. This might get clipped. So you scroll over to, I really need a poo. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I didn't, I needed a piss. Yeah. Not a poo. I didn't know I needed a poo at the time. Uh. How the time tables, my friend. Yeah. So I went, I went to these toilets, right, which we were allowed to go to, but it was close, so I really needed a piss. Sneakily, as the hard nut I am, went into them, uh, went into the uh, cubicle. Don't know why I didn't know. I don't know why I went to a urinal, but I went to a cubicle. Metropolitan. I'm just. Uh, I'm listening. <laughs> Tourette's. Uh, yeah, no, I went to the cubicle, went for a piss, and thought, shit, yeah, I need a fart right now. Like, I need a good fart. Yeah. Oh, I hate when this happens. Yeah, go on, and go instead on. of fart, poo came out. Yeah. Right, poo came out. It was like a little net in my boxes. Because for some reason, right, I wasn't like... I popped my trousers all the way down to my ankles. I don't know why I did that. So, like, my... Bo- in the corridor? The- no! In the fucking cubicle! Oh, I'm in the yeah, piss! Yeah, I you, you know when you, like, undo your zip and shit? I didn't do that. I literally just took my trousers and pants all the way down to my ankles, right? So the poo landed in my box like a little net, right? There's poo, like, in there, right? You should have, like, picked it up and said... Like, no, 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 you wait, right? Well, why are you doing that? So I'm there, right? No one's in these toilets because they want the designated toilet. So I'm there... Poo on my boxes, my dick out. I'm like, help. <laughs> help me. Is there anyone there? The guy in the other cubicle must have been. <laughs> there was no one there. It wasn't the designated toilets. It was just me. Just no one me. was there, bro. There were designated toilets, right? Designated toilets, right? So no one was there. So I'm shouting, help, help, help. Eventually a teacher comes, right? She comes mm-hmm. in. She's like, hello, is anyone in there? I'm like, yeah, miss, I've done a poo. <laughs> all right, teacher comes in. She's like, oh, it's all right, Joe. Opens the door. Sees the monstrosity in my pants, Ooh. and then uh, she gets the gloves out. Sorry, another, another monstrosity in your pants. <laughs> okay, anyway, she gets the gloves out. Uh, blue gloves, I remember. Yeah. All right, it's a core memory, and uh, I'm standing there with my pants and poo in there, like a proper. Dog. And she's literally scooping poo out uh, of my pants while I just stand there like a melon. Yeah, it's so grim. No, no, smell. I'm just standing there, and she's literally. What under my ass, scooping poo into a bag. And then what? Uh, and uh, I got sent home and watched Wally. <laughs> 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 yeah, no, this was uh, it was year one, mm. year one, year two. And that's all right though, isn't it? Like it was year one, it was year one. I mean, it was year one. But yeah, no, I put myself, lost those trousers, got home, went home, went home early for pooing myself, bro. You did some weird things. Like that's sick, mate. There's no going wrong. A natural reason to go home. Bro, it was a good film, Wally. Oh, well. I'm revised sure. for this test. <laughs> Miss. Gone home, mate. Sorted. I remember my dad came in and looked so disappointed in me. I'm watching Wally with these, like, lost property joggers on. <laughs> <laughs> there were like... some girls once as well, that's too tight. <laughs> and I remember, I remember before I got sent home, I'd sit at the front of the classroom while everyone was doing work. Because I had to, I don't know why I was sitting in front of the classroom. I'm just sitting there like, I'm like, this is the lowest I've felt in my life right now. Like, I'm sitting here, everyone fucking knows what's happening. <laughs> My fucking trousers, shit trousers in a bag next to me. And I just get fucking sent home. <laughs> fucking mad, mate. But yeah, no, yeah, you Your street won. cred after that must have been down. Yeah, no, then I moved to Australia and forgot about it. So, oh, <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, it was it's pretty it. it was a really embarrassing story, mate. Not much. I had a wank in school. You had a wank in school? Yeah. Okay. Whereabouts in school? Physics. What? Yeah. Sorry, what? Physics? 
Yeah. Fi- what do you mean physics in the class? Science, physics. Yeah. In the lesson. On the blue stool. There's no way you had a wank in lesson yeah. with everyone in there. It wasn't by you. No, me and Sam sat at the back. We were planning. <laughs> there was a bit of negotiation going on. Oh, you planned it with yeah. Sam. There was, there was a group. My of, bad. Yeah, there was a group of boys doing it. Yeah. Oh. They were like middle boys, class. They were like middle class. We were like bombs. Obviously. Yeah. <laughs> so we've gotten to our class. Sam. Sam. I want to race. Yeah. Nah. There's, there's just bare girls around the room who choose our various whatever. There's no way, bro. <laughs> what the fuck? She's just going for the test answers. Me and Sam are at the back. Ragging it out. I won. No, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I smoked him. For how much? Like 20 seconds. I don't even think uh, he finished, how long, how long did he last? Me? Oh, 30 seconds, bro. What, what, what year was it? Like year 11, 10? 10, year 10. Year 10, you year, had a end wank. End of year 10, because we were getting ready for year 11. Then, okay, so yeah, year okay. So please explain to me mm. how you managed to wank in a classroom without anyone knowing. No one turned around, Sam knew. Sam knew I was doing no it. No one turned around. No, but it wasn't so like, how you did it? Is it in your, were you in your trousers while no, doing from, it like so, that? So all these, no, 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 just on top. I was just rubbing it like that. How the fuck does that even work? You never done So that. what you're saying is you essentially jizzed in your pants. You didn't yeah. wank. You just jizzed in your pants. That's a wank. Man. Bro, that is mad. That's not a wank, bro. You jizzed in your pants. Bro, when it it's took a race you, against Sam, hygiene's out the it window. It took you 30 seconds to jizz in your pants in year 10. Yeah. Wow, well done, bro. That's crazy. I spoke to Sam recently as well. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, yeah, how's he doing? Is he, is he fucked up like you? I don't know. He's being autistic in the drive through Well, there we go. There we go. Ramps jizzed in his pants and I shat in my pants. And I think on that note, boys and girls, we're going to end the podcast there, the first episode. What a fucking pod. I think that was pretty boring, to be honest. I think we just described our day. Yeah, no. Uh, I think most of the shit we say in here is... Uh, it's fucked, but it, we don't mean it. I really wish they... I could just itch my ass. Okay. Uh, yeah, no. Uh, that's the first episode of the podcast. No. Itch your ass, bro. Itch it's it. Long, bro. Itch your fucking ass. Finger your fucking asshole. Get prostate cancer. My dad had prostate cancer. I'm- you're talking to you're arguing with yourself mate okay all right well thank you so much boys girls for watching what, what do we do now we're fucking done I mean, well, is that it is that it yeah mm. yeah nice i love this sofa texture it's like suede i used to have some suede shoes took me to the skate park some kid bullied me and i've never bought suede shoes. swedish skate park i'm thinking of belgium chocolate okay anyway, we're done we're done we're done thank you guys thank you <laughs>